What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Hayes. And it's your girl, Angel. And you're watching Renegade React. Today, we're going to be reacting to Mojo's Top 10 Failed McDonald's Products. Um, You know any of them? Like, I've never That's... seen goddamn anything that failed, man. I remember um, they had something on the menu called the Big, Big and Tasty, man. That was the best fucking burger. Was it the Big and Tasty? <laughs> About a big and tasty, I used to bet the best, about it all girl. the time. My mom still cracked jokes because I used to call it the big and what I used to call it the big and happy. Yeah. <laughs> I hate that they um took it off the menu, man. That was the best burger to me. It was like um, it was it was really it was good. like it was a I think it had two patties on it and everything, man. It was and it had the tomato and the mayonnaise. I yeah, like all, I that, eat stuff. all that shit. I love all this. Stuff. I took all that off. Um. But I think it, think it was way better than a Big Mac, bro. That should have been they yeah, um right. the Big and Tasty should have been they that product, bro. That um <coughs> what the Big what the Big Mac is today, that's what the Big and Tasty should have been. But I guess hardly nobody was buying it. But anyways, we want to hold up. So let's begin this um video. Tonight's menu features a variety of McFails with a side order of poor marketing choices. Then look at McDonald's new McDLT. I'm talking quarter pound of beef on the high side. The new McDLT. Well, Welcome yeah. to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 failed McDonald's products. Oh. When you need to make a good impression, it's the ideal choice. Big and meaty with the perfect kick. For this list, we'll be no, looking at that? some of the most unsuccessful menu items that the fast food restaurant chain has offered throughout its existence. However, we're excluding oh, okay. any non-food products the company may have that developed. A big new taste for you. A toasted French roll. It's gonna taste great too. Number size. 10, the oh. McGratton Croquette. McDonald's filet -O fish can be a hit or miss item with most consumers, but at least it's reminiscent of the familiar frozen fish sticks most people ate as kids. The best selling fish sandwich in America. Tell them you make that, Henry. They call me Jaws. That being said, it seems most clients would prefer that McDonald's stay away from seafood. The strange option called the McGratton um, Croquette feels like the end result of a chopped basket of secret sauce. ingredients gone wrong. The Gurat Bowl has its fish known fish pan thing, consists whatever. of ground shrimp, normally, oh, mashed potatoes, fish and like, deep-fried yeah. macaroni. That's good. All mushed together into flesh. a That's patty. Good. Probably Smother it in mystery ground sauce, and you sandwiches. got yourself a culinary um, misadventure. It's not a burger, it was designed specifically for Japanese markets, but guess what? Japan was not interested. Apparently, the odd marketing didn't help either. Number nine, Mighty Wings. <laughs> Tell me what happened. We're I mean, that looked like a fine like ass place to be. According to most that. reviewers and consumers, there was oh, nothing spectacularly yeah, bad about it. I don't remember the chicken wings. I don't remember all that barbecue. Some though found the crispy Mighty Wings closer to fried chicken ago. than to real buffalo wings. McDonald's is a juggernaut in the fast food world, and every so often they try to branch out to corner another end of the market. But just in time for football season, McDonald's is getting serious with real chicken wings called Mighty Wings. But with so many real tried and true wings. choices out there for real delicious chicken, chicken wings. wings, you can't blame consumers for continuing to take their business elsewhere on game night. Sales numbers were so poor that McDonald's yeah, lowered the price Larry from an Bird. average of $1 per wing to 60 oh, cents. This was allegedly done in order to liquidate the 10 million surplus wings they had left in stock when it became clear that the product had flopped. One bite and you'll never give them up. New Mighty Wings from McDonald's. Number eight, the chopped beefsteak sandwich. Only McDonald's puts it all together. I thought that was real. Pure beef. Real, the late so. 70s were an exciting period of innovation in American pop culture history. Steve Jobs founded Apple Computers, Garfield the Cat made his comic strip debut, Sony introduced the first Walkman, and Space Invaders well, was God damn this shit. McDonald's, oh. not wanting to be left out, prepared to unveil the chopped beefsteak oh, sandwich. We and for the most part, <laughs> it was deemed delicious. <laughs> Unfortunately, as is so often the case with groundbreaking new products, it reportedly priced itself out of reach of the average consumer, apparently ringing up at $1.29 to the regular burger's 40 cents. 
Many fast foodies lucky yeah, enough to try it in the early time. 80s remember it as one of the greatest sandwiches to ever touch their palates. But the steep um, price made it too hard to swallow. Yeah. Even after McDonald's tried throwing in a free dessert. Nobody can do it like McDonald's can. Nobody. Number seven, the Mick hot dog. Hot dogs or hamburgers? That's the question most commonly asked at the summer barbecue. Yeah, so don't hot dogs seem like nasty. a guaranteed yeah, success man. for any major fast food franchise? No, Mickey D's and hot dogs have had a long and complicated history. In fact, the McDonald's Corporation founder Ray Kroc banned hot dogs from his restaurants because there's no way to know what's inside them. Following his death in 1984, however, a number of attempts have been made to introduce okay, hot dogs man, in one form or another to the McDonald's menu in select North American and UK markets. Hot dogs are hot again, and they're new at McDonald's. But time and time again, they just fail to catch on. There's even been an attempt to market a chili McHot dog. Right away, you do it. Oh, ah. Number six, the McLean Deluxe. We're here because the McLean, McLean Deluxe, Deluxe is 100% oh. delicious. Two words that don't add up. McDonald's and sophisticated. Well, Two one thing about Mojo, but it be split. McDonald's this. and healthy. If it's no fat, it can be delicious. The Deluxe line aimed to corner the adult fast food market by presenting an entire line of sophisticated McDonald's products, including this supposedly healthy low-fat burger. It achieved the lower fat content by using about 90% lean beef in its patties and adding water to replace the missing fat. It's 90% uh, fat free, but all people talk about it. It made me it's not want to eat McDonald's at all. They bind it all together. Seaweed to the rescue. I don't. I only eat it. A seaweed Damn, extract the is a common now. thickening or binding agent used Soon in the processed food industry. That. Mouth not watering yet? This dry burger was deemed to be lacking flavor despite flavor additives, and thus earned itself the nickname Mick Flopper. McLean Deluxe, forget the fat, remember the taste at McDonald's today. Sorry, Green. Hmm? Green. Number five, Mick oh, Spaghetti. It's hard to believe shit. that anyone at McDonald's had faith in this product. The don't people go out for fast food because the they hell? don't want oh, spaghetti Who the hell wants some Mac Spaghetti, man? <laughs> Look like Mac Mac. Look like spaghetti and meatballs. McDonald's tried it in Italy, and unsurprisingly, it bombed. Nothing sells quite like a country's most cherished and widely available dish, as poorly prepared by an American fast food chain. It's a benefit, Bobby. It's a spaghetti dinner. But we don't make spaghetti. American you know, I'm right. watching that show last night, man. It took too long to prepare. Lacked flavor. I can't see myself so eating no spaghetti out of no McDonald's. That's why eating spaghetti out of Burger King. They wanted fast food. I thought I told you, Mom. You and your spaghetti aren't welcome here. The weirdest thing about the mixed spaghetti, though, it was a surprise hit in the Philippines and is still available there today. It almost tastes like spaghetti with ketchup. And I have another spoonful here. It's Number four, nasty. the Hula Burger. Is that nasty. Hawaiian burger joint? I hear they got some tasty burger. This one was bad, like really bad. While many McDonald's products have failed over the years due to pricing or marketing issues, the Hula Burger was simply a bad sandwich. Ray Kroc may that. have turned a handful of restaurants into the world's largest fast food franchise, but his pineapple bad. burger was one hula of a bad idea. Previously, strict Catholics would not eat meat on Fridays. So the company thought they could capitalize on that demographic with this meatless sandwich. Turns out that the filet of fish was more desirable than a slice of grilled pineapple and cheese. The Hula Burger was no, pulled from restaurants no, I, shortly I, after. I take that thing. back on the Hula Burger. If it was just a pineapple with burgers, cheese on it, that's fucking disgusting, man. Number three, the Mick Africa. It was a burger wrapped Rice. in pita bread, sold exclusively in Norway and in honor of the Olympics. But consider the fact that Southern Africa was suffering from one of the worst food shortages in the history of the region in 2002, with an estimated 14 million people in urgent need of food aid. And you'll see that the bad taste wasn't necessarily in the burger itself, but in the choice of name and timing. McDonald's addressed the issue by apologizing and by allowing humanitarian aid agencies to put up posters and donation boxes in their locations. They did not, however, stop selling the product until September of that year. And then they released another one in 2008 for the Beijing Olympics. Again, too heavy criticism. Number two, the McDLT. Well, what do you want, Michael? A McDLT? No, I already told you they don't make those anymore. You know, sometimes it's a regional thing. You could ask. No McDonald's anywhere makes a McDLT anymore. When it comes to failed fast food sandwiches, this is the stuff of legend. 
We could describe yeah, it to that's you. Pretty old We'd rather let Jason like Alexander yeah. do the talking. The beach stays hot, the cool cool stays crisp. Put it together, you can't lose this. Could be the best lettuce and tomato hamburger ever. The fact that they went through the trouble and extra styrofoam to build this dual chamber hamburger containment system just to keep the tomato and lettuce cool and crisp is commendable, but so unnecessary. Furthermore, people get fast food on the go when they want something quick, easy, and ready to eat. Trying to combine the two halves of the burger without losing the toppings might not be rocket science, but it's still enough work to undermine the core principles of fast food. I'm just saying but they have all the ingredients for a big deal. Even the talented Aretha Franklin could be. Actually, they do. They have all the ingredients. <laughs> just fucking stuff a regular kind of One bun, half lettuce, tomato, ketchup, everything on there. The Southern Mac the is the taste of a Big Mac in a snack. The stone ground mustard sauce. Mmm, the soft, comforting potato roll. I'm in the zone. Mac salad. Oh, I remember that. I remember the Mac salad. I don't even know it. Number one, pizza, McPizza. Luckily, some things are good. It wasn't born around like this time. I don't remember the size of early pizza. In the late 80s, McDonald's had about 40% of the American burger market, but sales consistently lagged around supper time. Pizza mega franchises like Pizza Hut simply ruled dinner. But Mickey D's had already won breakfast and were committed to claiming all three meals. Though they had test marketed personal sized pizzas in the late 70s, the following years saw them introduce various it pizza sizes good, in various though. locations, mm, including the pizza pocket style. They look pizza. better than everything that was on the list, guys. But man. with their fresh made, oven baked pizza, they were going all in. The pizza was relatively well received, but the wait time was not. For a franchise that conquered on a campaign of speedy service, this was a deal breaker. For the first time ever, he'll make dinner for his family. Pizza was a wrench in the well-greased gears of the McDonald's kitchen. By the end of the 90s, the McDonald's pizza dream was essentially dead. Though some restaurants were still serving up some type of pizza until 2000, with some reports even saying that two restaurants in the U.S. still offer the dish in one form or another. Please serve for me, Mom. I don't deserve it. Sample-sized pepperoni pizza. It's a parent's dream come true. Number two, Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut was Do you agree with our list? What's the biggest McFailed menu item in your opinion? For more odd top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. <laughs> All right, everybody, that's the end of the video. Um, some of those on, I don't know shit about. Some of them I do like. The, um, I heard of the Mac Pizza. I heard, I seen the um, Mac Salad. Why every fucking thing got to be Mac in it, though, man? Mac Airy motherfucker. Because it's McDonald's. You know, you know, mother, Mc, whatever, I don't give a damn. They don't got to add it. They ain't have Mick. They don't call the goddamn Big Mac. Big Mac. It's saying Big Mac. But they don't say Big Mac. Like the big and tasty, um, the fish lay. What else they had? A chicken nugget? They could have named them motherfuckers Mac chicken nuggets or some shit. They did have something to say Mac nuggets, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Hey, yo, no, nah, that's the all um, fucking thing I was going to say. But anyways, man, um, if y'all watched the video all the way through, man, um, leave us a thumbs up if y'all liked it. Um, leave us a thumbs down if y'all dislike it. And um, also leave us a comment down below. Letting us know what y'all want us to um, react to next. Anyways, we... Like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, yeah, man. Don't forget to subscribe, man. We need the subscribers. But anyways, we out.